I'm Chris that running guy and I just had to share this stuff with you. I was kindly sent it by Safe Sky, not being paid for this, they not asked me to do a review and as you know I like to be honest and transparent. For those of you who don't know who Safe Sky are, they were established in Copenhagen and they produce premium quality sportswear for kind of more of an urban stroke attitude kind of feel. Some of the you know, the bigger brands stick to their traditional colours and, you know, they are a little bit boring, but with Say Sky, they kind of think a little bit outside the box, more kind of camo colours, bright colours, neutral colours for, you know, sometimes us older runners. And you just stand out from the crowd. You know, when you turn up to a park run or, or a race, yes, you might see people in Say Sky stuff, but they've got so many different choices, the chances are that no one's going to be wearing the exact kit. And also they're eco-friendly, so they use recycled products where they can to minimise obviously the effect on the planet, which is you know fantastic. Right, so the kit I'm going to go through is my spring and summer stuff that I've been sent from kind of jackets, um, shorts, hats and vests. And kind of just give you my honest opinion and, and how I use them. So spring's a difficult time in uh, the UK. You know, the temperatures can range anything at night to near freezing. You could go up to 20 degrees during the day. You could go out for a run at 10 o'clock, it'd be quite chilly. And by you finish at 12 o'clock, it'd be quite warm. So you need items that are going to be very breathable. And you're going to mention me saying this a lot. You know, the quality, breathable, fit for purpose. You know, and Say Sky is all of that. Yes, they are a premium brand, but you do get what you pay for. So let's start with jackets. Um, I've got two Pace jackets. Um, they're different materials and, and used for different purposes. The first one I've got um, is this one that's actually part of their new collection. Um, you know, very out there, uh, lovely green colour. You kind of look different, you feel different in this and very breathable. Uh, as you can see, probably see through there, it's got holes to kind of help, you know, keep you nice and dry. Um, but there's lots of features on this. We've got um, elasticated hood. Um, we've got adjustable bits at the bottom, um, so you can actually pull it, you know, to your desired tightness and shape. Um, we've got two pockets, one each side, um, which are very generous pockets. And also, there's pockets on the inside as well. If you want to put some in there, if you want to use it more as kind of a kind of casual, and also that when we're out running sometimes it might get a bit chilly so they have a nice little cuff here that kind of goes over the, over the hand. Um, this is thicker than my other pace one um, you would use this probably below eight degrees I'd say um, but I think we're all different maybe on an easy run um, you could probably get away with this I wouldn't say it was a kind of fast run in. My other pace top is a more expensive version this is a lot, lot thinner. Um, I've worn this up to kind of 12 degrees. Um, it's half zip um, and it goes down, obviously halfway, hence the half zip. But what I wanted to show you with the zip is if you notice when I'm doing this zip, it kind of stays there. And when it's in this position, you could actually move the zip down. But you see that once that's locked in place, I'll just show you that again. So when it's at the half position, it actually stays in place. We can undo the zip, but as soon as that locks in place, that zip is locked and it's not gonna be slapping around. Now the feet's on this one, I say adjustable, like the other one to adjust your body shape. It's got one of these on each side. Um, it's got um, an outer big pocket that's got poppers on and that goes all the way across, or you've got a zip pocket that goes all the way across from one side to the other side. Both of these tops, um, waterproof to a small degree, but mainly set up for kind of um, running in the wind because they're single layer on the arm, but double layer on the kind of body. But as I say, very breathable, um, both different materials um, and you'd use them obviously on, on different kind of temperatures. The next top I like is what I'm wearing now, which is in the latest collection, is a pace top. Um, I've got two of these. I've got one in a, um, a kind of greenish colour, both the same material, both very thin, very breathable, a little bit stretchy so it kind of fits all different body shapes. And I've worn this top 
uh, the other day I went out on a 12 mile run and it was 11 degrees and it was one of them days when it's kind of sunny but when you're going in the shade um, you can get a bit cold, a little bit breezy and I wore this on the 11 mile run. I just pulled the sleeves up to kind of three quarters way up my arm or a quarter way up, whichever way you look at it. And I come back and I, I wasn't wet, I didn't overheat. These tops are just so versatile. As I say, in spring, these are just fantastic. So you can go out when it's cold. You know, when I mentioned it could be anywhere to, towards the kind of zero-ish end. And then when you obviously get towards 11, 12 degrees, you're not gonna overheat. You just adjust it by the arms. Um, probably one of my favorite garments, especially in kind of springtime. So they also sent me these two different types of um, singlet. They're the both combat. Um, one's thicker than the other one, so um, one might be more towards racing, the other one might be more towards you know pleasure running. But you know, each to your own. Me personally, I would, I would go for the yellow colour racing, but this is slightly thicker than this kind of lighter weight one that's just in black. But you know, each to your own. So they're both super light, breathable, um, slim fit, and they're made from Say Sky's Say Sky Dry performance material. It's a waffle type fabric, as you can see a bit stretchy there, that basically is improved for anti-cling-on and evaporates you know, your sweat rather than keeping it nice and wet. I've worn this on a run, come back, and I haven't actually washed it yet. I know that's a bit stanky, but it doesn't actually smell. So that shows you know, that it does actually work. I've used, you know, Use many different other types of vests and come back and you know it's straight in the wash because the top's actually you know kind of soaked through. Um, this one you probably can't see it on camera, but this one you know we've got the kind of wick they call it wick effect is kind of it's thicker you can see that, but on this one it's more see through and a lot lighter. But these tops, as so I didn't wash them the first time, didn't make my nipple sore like some tops. And they've got a big opening for the arm to stop any kind of chafing or, or rubbing. So perfect. So short wise, I've got two different types of shorts. I must admit, when I was sent these, um, you know, nice looking, I was a little bit unsure. These are eight inch shorts and I like to wear uh, about five inch shorts when I run in. So they hadn't got any inners and I thought to myself, you know, what are they? Are they just casual shorts? But no, they're kind of a mixture of, you can run in these, you go to the gym and you can wear them casually. And when I run into them, they're super lightweight. They're four way kind of stretching material. They're actually quite nice to run in. Get you a couple of pockets. Um, we've got a pocket, two pockets on the side, which are zip pockets. I'll say quite, quite generous and get my whole hand in there. And they've also got a pocket, which is actually pretty well disguised um, to see that and that you can actually fit your phone in um, quite comfortably. I wouldn't probably recommend it when you're running, I think it might fall out. You know, it might not, but I, I personally wouldn't, but for general kind of gym or casual, that'd be perfect. My other shorts, um, which I love, are the two-in-one shorts. These are a five-inch shorts, um, and they're just super, super comfortable to wear. You know, they're, they're super um, Say Sky dry material, very lightweight, very soft, um, but I've got kind of cycling in shorts inside, uh, a bit longer to kind of stop any kind of chafing and stuff. Come back after my run, normally my shorts are quite wet when I come back, but these, you know, weren't too bad. Um, some features on there, which I didn't notice straight away, you've got two gel pockets at, at the back, which you can actually put two in each side. Um, we've also got uh, a big pocket at the back, which I can actually fit my iPhone 8 in, and that's waterproof. And then the kind of hidden pocket, which I haven't actually tried my phone, is where you can actually put your phone. It's so hidden, I can't even find it. There it is. So it's on the right leg, and you can put your phone in there, and say my iPhone 8 fits in there. So it's got all these little features. Maybe you could even put some gels in there if you wished. So, really nice looking design. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got the Say Sky logo on there, which is, you know, discreet, but as I say, super comfortable and super happy with these. And then the last item is a cap. It's a reversible cap. So we've got the green, uh, which I prefer, 
and then if you're a bit more kind of layerish, um, we've got the uh, in the black. But so I prefer this. Um, it comes with a um, kind of special wick material that kind of um, takes away the moisture from your head. Um, it does mean that this becomes quite wet. So I would recommend it maybe up to 10, 12 degrees. Uh, anything over that, I prefer to wear a kind of mesh type design cap. But you know, we're all different. But the most important thing of this is actually machine washable because uh, a lot of the caps you get, you know, you have to wash them by hand, which can be a bit of a pain. So I want to thank Say Sky for sending me this stuff. Um, I say please check out their website. There's loads of different com you know kind of combinations on their website, different colorways. Um, there's t-shirts, vests, you know, different jackets, socks. You, you name it, it's, it's probably on there. So I will put links down in the description to their website. Please go and check it out. I said the stuff comes from Copenhagen, it only takes a couple of days to come. Um, and I really like the company. I say the company is very friendly. I've got an email contact um, that kind of keeps me up to date on the latest stock and I can ask them any questions. They even spent an hour on a Zoom call just going through you know, some of their designs and giving me kind of sneak peek um, of upcoming designs so it's a really kind of they're really kind of personal um, you know they're independent um, and as I said before you know you wear their stuff it makes you feel great makes you look great well I like to think so but <laughs> is it really for me to say and you know that's half the battle isn't it you know if you feel great and you think you look great then you're going to be confident and you know you're going to stand out from the crowd and there's so many different color you know combinations you could wear a camo top with the with the shorts i could wear the green shorts with a yellow top you know each to your own so please go and check out their website um i so say you won't be disappointed and their stuff is as i say it's eco-friendly and really really good quality anyway i'm gonna leave it there onwards and upwards cheers <laughs>